Hi guys, how are you? My name is Yurdanka. Welcome to my channel. And today I will create a purple inspired look. Uh, so if you are interested, keep on watching. So for this look, I will use one of my favorite palettes, uh, Bloodlust by Jeffree Star Cosmetics and I plan to use like um, three or four shades just to make the color pop out I, I lately I'm really interested uh, just to work with colors not trying to do some kind of a colorful composition something uh, really impressive. I think this was like modern two or three years ago in the makeup community. Um, of course right now people also do like this uh, very complex cut creases, uh, very like uh, <laughs> colorful like uh, parrots um, looks. Uh, but uh, uh, right now, me personally, I'm way more interested in uh, exploring like one shade of purple and dipping into purple or just like exploring uh, one eyeshadow like right now this is like pink magic that in my opinion is very beautiful shade and I will like I will cover my my entire upper lid in it just to mm, just to feel the power of the color on its own and without further ado I will start um, of course that kind of looks uh, that are like <laughs> not too colorful uh, not having an array of colors uh, they are very wearable Maybe they don't look that uh, interesting on Instagram, but actually I can wear that kind of looks. Uh, my profession is uh, connected with design and uh, uh, this is like, uh, it's okay for me to look more colorful, uh, but uh, as well, um, I think that even if you have more ordinary profession, uh, if you use only one color, it will look, it will be okay. And uh, on my face, I have a foundation, I have bronzing powder, I have brow powder. Under my eyes, I have concealer, and on my eyelids, I have only foundation. I do prefer doing uh, makeup looks. Uh, with only foundation on my eyes and not concealer because foundation is thinner and uh, in my opinion makeup stays better on my skin when I use only foundation as a base and it uh, like it stays longer so I'm taking uh, uh, JS10 a uh, synthetic uh, <laughs> A brush with synthetic fibers uh, it works miracles when it comes to shimmering eyeshadows more uh, not like the powder eyeshadows and I'm dipping into pink magic and I'm covering my entire upper eyelid actually for uh, eyeshadows with that kind of formula that is not like glittery uh, formula, mm, not a dusty one. I even prefer not to have anything on my lids. But right now, as always, I applied foundation. Of course, for eyeshadows uh, that have like, a, I call them like a powder formula, I prefer to have a base. And yeah, I use foundation or concealer. You know, when you build your eyeshadows and you start with one shade of purple, second shade of purple, third shade of purple, it gives some kind of emotion, it gives a sense of space, 
uh, of the mansion but right now I want just the cower, the cower that's what I'm looking for the power of the cower so okay I'll stop right now I will take a um, sharpie brush and I'm dipping into Betrayal. Uh, this shade is also uh, like on the purple side but with a red undertone and it works perfectly with Pink Magic. And I apply it all over my lower eyelid. So as you can see there even let me let me fix my camera uh, those two shades they they they're very close when it comes to their color but they're very different in their formula but I love purple my grandma she always used to uh, buy me or like <laughs> pay to a tailor to do a suit for me in purple color so I always connect those purple colors with my grandma then I'm dipping into dungeon and dungeon is a really dark purple and I'm emphasizing my eyelashes with it so I'm applying it over betrayal just under the eyelashes and this will make my eyes look larger and right now for my waterline I will use Blow Pony Vivor liquid lipstick and I will apply it as an eyeliner because I this will like really open my eyes and it, uh, it will make my eyes look a little bit like uh, doe eyes and for this look right now I would like to have that kind of, a, of an effect and I apply it directly with the applicator and I will apply it a little bit here at the end of my eye because this will give the illusion of open larger eye it's a great tip from the classical Hollywood age uh, actually if I have to be <laughs> correct uh, best eyes that I have ever seen I've seen in Italian movies especially like uh, actresses like Sofia Uren but not only Sofia Uren um, in Italian movies they draw like really amazing eyes I'm not sure if they did it first or they did it first in Hollywood uh, I don't know who invented that kind of um, optical illusions and uh, now I will take my favorite brush Jazz 12 with synthetic fibers and I'm dipping into a Blood Queen this deep dark really royal purple and I'm just applying it in the end of my eyelid to make the purple color stand out and to give it a little bit an illusion of uh, dimension of depth and you know guys that uh, like this uh, the base color of this look is uh, named uh, pink magic and I'm reading a great book by the French author Alexandre Dumas the father uh, because when we talk about royalties and magic, uh, I always think about France. Uh, but it's a coincidence that I'm doing this look and I'm reading this book. Uh, the book is about uh, Joseph Balsamo, an Italian magician, mason, uh, that in the opinion of Alexandre Dumas... Um, 
made the French Revolution and ended the monarchy of France. Still, I am not even in the middle of the book, but that's what I read that the book is about. And yeah, Alexandre Dumas is a great, great author. He created uh, images, uh, heroes like the Three Musketeers. Uh, the Count Monte Cristo, I think he is amazing. Uh, okay, and now I want to fix the glitter so that it will not move uh, the whole day. So I'm taking GS8 and I'm dipping into Monarchy. I was just talking about Monarchy and <laughs> right now I'm dipping into Monarchy. And uh, this is very skin like uh, a color, uh, skin toned, so I'm applying it, it won't even be visible, but I'm applying it at the edge of uh, um, where Pink Magic Eyeshadow ends, just to keep the glitter there all day long. And I'm just uh, like cleaning, I have a little bit of a fallout. Okay guys, I'm doing my other eye, uh, I'm applying uh, false eyelashes and mascara and I'll be uh, back with you. So I'm back with both of my eyes ready and my falsy and right now I will go on with the highlighter and <laughs> I will not do a purple highlighter because I'm so in love with this rose gold color and it looks so great on my skin right now that I have a tan after the summer so I'm doing this rose gold and uh, it looks really natural with the purple and actually I think that this shade really works out with uh, the purple in my waterline low pony color and for my lips I was really thinking to leave my lips uh, like with the nude color but uh, then me and my mother as my personal advisor we decided to use I'm vulgar the War liquid lipstick that's quite like a beautiful shimmering uh, pinkish purple okay so right now after I'm totally covered in purple my look is complete and I actually really like it the way it turned out with these deep purple shades I'm really happy that I picked uh, that my mother picked this uh, purple lipstick and I didn't do like I was thinking to do a Scorpio that's uh, way more a nude color so this is the final look guys thank you for being here with me I hope you enjoyed it I hope to see you again Autumn is coming, do some purple deep looks and just experiment and explore makeup. It's for free and you don't put on weight. So it's one of the pleasures of this world that is almost for free. Okay, it's almost for free and it's legal, it's vegan, it's cruelty free. Bye bye. <laughs>